Hi, my name is Lindsay Fox. Welcome to this Power Hour. We'll be working on our core a lot today. And I want to talk about the core a little bit for a moment in terms of yoga. So when I'm talking about the core, I'm not just talking about these front muscles, uh, our eight pack, our six pack, whatever. I'm talking about the deeper muscles as well, the transverse abdominis, obviously the obliques, but also the pelvis is involved in that and the inner thighs too. Um, and of course, turning around, it's this whole kind of cylinder area, isn't it? So we're also talking about our lower back in particular. So the other thing is, is that in yoga, we don't, we're not working towards tight abs because if our abs are tight, then we can't breathe fluidly, but we are working for strength and stability. So, let me wake my way back to my mat and we'll get going on our back. So come on down, get comfortable. Bring your hands to your belly for a moment. Keep your knees bent and walk your feet towards your glutes. And then lengthen the tail, the tailbone forward a little bit just so you can feel that connection between the mat and your lower back. And then just a little bit, draw the chin in towards the chest and feel how that lengthens your neck. And now relax your face as you close your eyes and land here. Let's take three conscious breaths together. So as you inhale, fill up your lungs. And on the exhale, make use of being at home. You can breathe out your mouth. You can't really do that in the studio. Here we go, breathe in through the nose. Feel the belly rise, lungs expand. And exhale, let it go. Feel the navel coming in towards the spine. The last one, biggest one, inhale. Inflate and exhale, release, let it go. Lovely, open your eyes, look up to the sky and bring your hands down on either sides of your hips, palms facing down. And as we inhale, we'll just lift the hips, the pelvis up towards the sky. Taking a full inhale to arrive in the bridge pose. And then exhale, slowly lowering it down. The whole time keeping the inner thighs hugging towards each other. So let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, lifting up, maybe come up a little bit further this time chest towards the chin, exhale, release, sit down. And here we go, last time, curling up from the tailbone as you're pushing down into your feet. When you get up to the top, bring your chest towards your chin, release your chin to the sky and feel that length in the back of the neck. Now remember that because we'll be using this during our core work today. You can bring the shoulders underneath your heart, lift your hips a little bit lower, uh, higher, <laughs> keep the breath smooth, and on the exhale, release on back, down to the ground, lovely. So hug the knees into the chest, get a little side to side action going, a little massage. We just started, be kind to yourself. And then release the feet down to the mat again, knees bent. And bring your hands, fingers interlaced behind the back of your head, releasing the thumbs down and keep those elbows wide and just take a second here to give your neck a nice massage. So we are really going to prize our necks today as we're working on our core. 
begin to feel the crunch in the abdominal area, not in the neck. So nice little massage to bring love to the neck before we get going and to remind us to treat it with care. So here we go. Inhale, lift the head, the neck, the shoulders off the mat. And exhale, hold up there. Now keep the elbows wide and find that hammock you've made for your neck. So you're gazing up towards the sky. Now the breath control is what's going to keep you up in this position without too much uh, discomfort. You can either stay here or you can bring the shins parallel to the mat, knees over the top of the hips. And we'll take one more deep inhale in through the nose. Curl the tailbone up, roll back down. Exhale, bring the, uh, everything back down to the mat. All right, so from here, let's get into our rhythm. So take an inhale here on the mat with your long length of the spine. And on the exhale, you curl up from the abdominals. Keep looking up to the sky. So inhale down, exhale lift. Keep it going, inhale down, exhale lift. Keep the elbows wide. Maybe find a smile. Keep drawing the lower ribs towards each other. That lower back is connected. Yes, we're beginning to wake it up. Let's do, let's see, three more. Three, inhale, two, inhale, one, inhale. Ooh, ooh, well done, everybody. Put the soles of your feet down to the floor, bring them together, let the knees fall out, and you're in Sutta Bhargana And just take some nice smoothing strokes downwards on your belly or Take a clockwise direction, massaging that area back. Well done. So that's our first core, real core exercise for the day. Carrying on, let's bring our knees back over our hips again. Interlace your fingers, bring them back behind your head. So remember, keep those elbows wide. And as we lift up this time, we'll take an inhale. And then exhale, lift up to center, and then take your left elbow towards right knee. All right, inhale back to center, exhale down. Inhale, center, right elbow towards left knee. Inhale, center, exhale down. So it goes center, twist, center, down. Keep the elbows wide, center, left. Twist, center, down. Keep the chest open, keep it going. Center, down. Center, twist, center, down. So you can take it slower. Try not to go too fast. Really enjoy the process here. Let's do three more to each side. Keep pulling the lower back flush to the mat. Maybe you're scooping the tailbone up a little bit, using your core, not your neck. Oh, are we, I think the next one is our last one. We got this center, twist, center, down. Last side, center, twist, center, down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go out wide. Soup to body, Kanasana. Here we go again. Enjoy. Massage. Also getting a nice little hip opener here in your SPK, SPK as I call it. Supta Bhattanasana. So let's keep going. We're rocking it. This time, bring, uh, bring the knees up above the hips and we'll take our arm, well, lift the head, the neck and the shoulders up, inhale, reach the arms 
arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to your right. So your hands are over to the outside of the right leg. Now we're gonna use the left leg from here. Okay, so keep pulling that lower back down. Inhale, the leg goes up, left leg goes up to the ceiling. Exhale, it slides down like it's sliding down a wall in front of you. Inhale, bring that left knee back to the right knee. And then take it up. Exhale, slide it down. All right, so see if you can keep it smooth as you inhale, bring it up. All the way up, stretch it, exhale. All the way down, keep the feet alive. Bring it in, stretch it up, take it down. There we go, keep pulling that navel in the spine. Last one, slide it down and then bring it back in. Release everything down, we'll take a little rest before we go to the other side. Well done, I like that one. Okay. So here we go. Bring your knees up, shins parallel to the mat. We'll lift the head, the shoulders off the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Look up and back a little bit. And exhale, twist to the left. So you can even have a block here to hold if you like. All right, pull that navel down, that lower back down to the mat. And let's inhale, reach the right leg up this time. Exhale, slide it down the wall in front of you. Inhale, bring it in towards the left knee and up to the sky. And then again, come line down the wall. Here we go, bring it in. Inhale, stretch it up. Oh, keep that chest open. Exhale, slide it down. Two more. We got this. Take it up. Exhale. Slide it down. Slow and steady. Wins the race for the last one. Exhale. Slide it down. Brilliant. And then hug both knees into your chest. Well done. Well done. So from here, we're going to rock and roll. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to relax our feet down towards the ground again. Let me pick up this one, my goodness. Soles the feet together, feet out, Supta Baddha Konasana. Just give that tummy a little circular motion before we get into it again. So this time, take your hands back behind your head, thumbs extended. And we're going to inhale, exhale, lift the head. You know what to do, the neck, the shoulders off. This time, we're gonna stay up here, just concentrating on short, sharp exhales as we pulse it here. All right, so take a deep breath in, and then exhale. Keep it going. So your belly's probably pumping up and down at this moment. Gaze up and back. About halfway there. You got it, keep going. I can't see you, so you could be cheating. Nearly there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Ah, oh, yes. And circle that belly with your palm. Wonderful core, wonderful core. So hug your knees into your chest and cross your right leg over the top of your left. So it's like cow legs, cow face legs. See if you can grab the outside of your feet, maybe your big toes, and just breathe into those hips a second. Maybe rolling it out a little side to side. Lovely. 
take those legs up in the air and let's cross our legs over that cow face pose on the other side grab the outsides of the feet the shins wherever you can and breathe down into the hips here lovely and then we'll release the soles of the feet down to the ground okay so keeping going with the core bring those hands back behind your head release those stems down your neck bring the knees back over oh no we did our bicycles i was going to make you do it all over again we did our bicycles so bring your legs back to that crossed over position right leg over the left we're on to obliques now so take your knees over to the left all right keep your chest nice and wide gaze is up and slightly behind you Remember the crunch is not coming from your neck, it's coming from your obliques this time. So take a deep inhale in, and on the exhale, hug that navel in the spine as you lift the head, neck, and chest. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, maybe you go a little bit higher this time. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Let's do two more. I like this one. Lovely, and then release the legs back, center, cross the twist of the legs over, so left leg wraps over the top of the right, slide those legs over, knees over to the right, keeping your elbows nice and wide, here we go, take an inhale and breathe into the belly, and exhale, lift it up, inhale, lower, exhale, lift Bring that core in, exhale, lower. So you're still trying to keep that connection of the lower back to the floor, or at least one side of it, as you're crunching back. Not that word crunch, as you're lifting up and your abs are working. Let's do two more on this side. Straight up. Keep the elbows right. Here we go, last one. Yes, and now bring your knees back to center, hug it in. Lovely, let's rock and roll up and down the spine. Well done, that was an intense session on our backs. Not as relaxing as Shavasana, keep rocking and eventually come all the way down and forward and find a forearm plank. So drop your elbows underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers wide, and then step one foot back, then the other. So your forearms are nice and parallel, elbows under shoulders, and try and drop your hips in line with your spine. Ears away from the shoulders, push deeply into, down into your mat, and breathe. Again, it's that breath control, which is going to calm your mind and allow your body to strengthen here by going in to the transformation stage. Keep hugging everything into the midline, lower ribs, pulling towards each other here. Beautiful. One more breath. Exhale, just lower your knees just for a second. Take your hips back, stretch your heart down to the mat. And then let's come forward again. Back to that forearm plank. Spike the heels towards the back of your room. Find that long line from crown to the heels. And here we go. Take the right foot, tap it off the mat. Exhale, bring it back in. Take the left foot out, tap it, bring it back in. So you go back and four toe taps, right foot out and in, left foot out and in. Keep it going. You can take it slower, but try not to go faster. Building strength. Let's do three more on each side. Keep spreading across the collarbones. 
let him down between your hands. One more, I think, or did I cheat? Lovely, bring your knees down. Take your hips all the way back to your heels this time and find a child's pose. Breathing into the back body here. Feeling alive in the core. Smooth and long breath. Now, that was just a little warm up for the next bit. So come on forward, come back to that forearm plank. Take those legs out straight again. Slide the heels back, but this time transfer over onto your left forearm. And maybe you stack the legs here, one foot on top of the other. Just bring your right hand to your waist and you're in forearm side plank. Whoa. If you need stability like me, bring that top leg, bend the knee, bring it in front of you, toes pointing towards the long edge of the mat. Lift your hips. And from there, lift your right arm up to the sky. So your upper body is facing towards the right of the room. Inhale, reach. Exhale, thread the needle right up, comes under your left side. Inhale, open it up, reach. Exhale, bring it up there. Follow it with your eyes. Here we go, number three. Yeah, don't forget about lifting those hips up. Two more. Last one. Lift the hip. Great. And when we reach up, that's the last time. Come back to center. Do your forearm plank just for a beat. And you know what? Let's bring our, our knees down again and our heart to the mat. And our other heart and our center. You can have your chin on the mat or the forehead. Let your belly go loose before we get tight again. Not tight, strong. <laughs> Doing our forearm plank on the other side. So here we go. Come on forward back to that forearm plank. And this time we're going to come get that line ready and then come on to the right forearm. Again, stacking the legs. Lifting the hips, left hand to hip, or you can take the top leg in front of you for support. Inhale, open that uh, arm up to the sky. Exhale, follow your hand as it threads underneath. Inhale to open and lift up. Exhale, bring it underneath. Navel up to spine. Lift it up, lift the hips, gaze to the side, exhale, underneath, inhale, lift. I believe this is our last one, stretch, exhale, underneath, and here we go. Inhale, lift it up, breathe, and exhale, bring that forearm down, straighten it out to forearm plank for a minute. Couple of breaths here, you got it. Last one, we'll take a rest after this. And exhale, release your knees down towards the mat and bring your hips to your heels. This time, swim your arms back, bring the tops of your hands to the mat as you sink your upper body and your forehead to the mat. So this is a really relaxing version of child's pose for the shoulders. So just let them go heavy here as you breathe up and down the back body again. Unclench your jaw. Soften between the eyebrows. One more breath. Then push into the tops of your feet. 
sure that Navel and Dysfunction to just in a roll all the way back up to sitting. And let's take a twist while we're here. So left hand comes to the outside of the right thigh, right hand just behind. We'll take a little gentle twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right. Come on, rest here. Keeping it soft and gentle. And let's take it around to the other side. Left side. Left hand helps you keep the line of the spine. Inhale, the lengthen. And the exhale, the twists. One more breath. Beautiful. Come on back to center. Take your hands forward. Wrists and the shoulders, knees and the hips. Here we go, cat cow. We haven't done them yet, have we? So let's drop the belly. Should feel really good after that core work. Squeeze the shoulders together on the back. Gaze forward, open the heart. And exhale. Push away from the mat as you curl your tailbone a little there. Between the knees, chin to chest. Let's keep it nice and slow, articulating through the spine. Inhale, open the front of the body, and exhale to round. Couple more in your own time. Lovely. Now find a neutral position. Walk your hands forward just a little bit. Curl your toes under and take your hips up and back, downward facing dog. And let's keep it fluid for the moment. Bending one knee at a time, stretching the other leg back as you reach its heel to the floor, and then alternating. Call it pedaling it out. I'm meeting my shirts down here. Keep breathing. Consistent, equal. Now find a stillness here. Stretching the spine. Stretching the backs of the legs. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward and go for a stroll all the way up to the front of your mat. Landing in a forward fold. Feet distance apart. Just hang down over your legs. Let your back open up here. Have the breaths. And then ground down into your feet. Pull that navel in the spine. And slowly coming up, curling your tailbone underneath you again. So it's reaching between your feet and then when you get up to Take some shoulder loops, lovely. Now let's work on our alignment for a second. So head over heart, heart over pelvis. There we go, you can bring your tailbone underneath you to keep the pelvis neutral. Find that core engagement, even here. Chin parallel with the mat, with, yeah, with the mat. Beautiful, let's take one more breath here. Enjoying being on our feet, away from the, from that core work. Now it's a put, um, we're going to integrate that core into our movement. Inhale to reach and stretch the side body to reach up to the fingertips. All the way into the spine and exhale, hinge and forward of the hips. Reach it all the way down, release the crown of the head. Inhale. Use your hands on your shins or up to the top of your thighs to find that length in the spine. Ada Uttanasana. And exhale, release it back down, fold. And step the right foot back. Low lunge, drop that back knee, drop the right deep knee down to the floor. Inhale. Remember how I said core was also inner thighs. Squeeze the inner thighs. Hug the pelvic floor muscles up and together as you reach your arms up. Or low lunge, shoulders away from the ears. 
you can gaze at the sky, maybe open your heart one more breath here. And exhale, take it down, step it back, down facing dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, come all the way up onto your tippy toes, look forward and come over, shoulders in or with plank pose. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Are you going to just do that side? No, nope, you step the right foot back and melt the left knee down towards the ground. Squeeze the inner thighs together as you reach forward and up. Sink into the hips, start pulling up from the pelvic floor muscles. Breathe, this is a great place to breathe. The lungs open. One more breath, pull that lower belly in. And exhale, ground the hands. Take it back, down facing dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, come up high on your tippy toes, roll it forward like a wave, plank, exhale, take it all the way back to down, facing down. Inhale, step the left foot, no, don't step the left foot, spin the left foot, heel down, step the right foot forward between your hands. Here we go. Inhale, raise yourself up, reaching forward and up. Warrior one, sink those hips, straight back leg. Exhale, bring the hands back down, frame the foot, take it back, down, facing dog. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes, roll it for plank. Exhale, take it back, down, facing dog. Inhale, spin the right foot, step the left foot forward. Inhale, calming up, warrior one. Shoulders and hips facing the front, all in one line. Reach up through the fingertips and relax the shoulders away from your ears. Take it down, step it back, down facing dog. Inhale, come higher on your tippy toes. Roll it forward to plank. And exhale, take those hips up and back, down facing dog. So let's add on to that by spinning the left foot down again, left heel down, stepping the right foot forward, inhaling, coming up to your warrior one. I stand in that front knee. And this time we'll add on to a revolve triangle. So straighten that front leg, reach forward, folding down over the leg. And you can bring the left hand down underneath your shoulder, right hand to your hip, opening the upper body towards the right side, gazing up towards the sky maybe. Or you can take the left hand over, cross it over to the outside of the right foot. And either way, reaching, your right arm up to the sky, maybe gazing at the thumb, keeping broad across the collarbones, straight, strong back leg. One more breath, spin and reach, bring that right hand down, frame the front foot, and here we go, bend into the front knee again, come up, warrior one. One breath here, fill the lungs, and exhale, take it forward, and down, step it back, down the facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, up onto the tippy toes, roll it towards plank, shoulders over rest, exhale, take it on back. And we'll do that on the other side. So spin the right heel down, step the left foot forward. Inhale, bend it down into the back of that right foot. Come up, warrior one. Exhale, sink the hips a little bit, a little bit further down. Now, inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, keeping the hips facing towards the front of the roof. Fall down, right hand can come to the inside of the left foot or to the outside. 
can keep a little microband in that left knee. Back leg though is straight. Start off with your hand on the head, on your left hip, open your torso to the left of the room, and then reach your left arm up to the sky. Once you've found that spin, a couple more breaths, pull that navel into the sky. Straight, strong back leg, one more breath. Lower that left arm down to the floor. Bend into the front knee as we inhale to reach forward, up and back. Warrior one. Pulling your navel in and exhale. Take it down, step it back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll it up through to plank. Exhale, take those hips up and back, down facing dog. Beautiful. So spin that left heel down, step the right heel forward. You know what to do. Come on up, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, sink the hips, pull the lower belly in. Inhale, find more length, reach through the fingertips. And then exhale, draw the hands together above, gaze at your thumbs, and then bring those that palms down through the midline. The leave them to sternum. Take a twist to the right. Left elbow comes outside of the right leg. The right thigh. Gaze over your right shoulder or your right elbow. And find that length from the back heel all the way through the crown. Deep, smooth breaths here. Hugging everything into the midline. One more breath. And this time, just take your hands down to bring the front foot. Step the front foot to the back. Plank pose. Inhale. Find the length and strength. And exhale. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Let's do that on the other side. So spinning the right heel down, stepping the left foot up, lovely, coming up with nice bent knees, stacked over the left ankle. Reach up, warrior one. Exhale, sinking down. Straight back leg. Fierce gaze forward like a warrior. One more, inhale. And then bring those palms together, gaze up as you draw the thumbs down the midline to the sternum. Lean forward over that front leg and twist to the left this time. Right elbow, outside left knee or left thigh. Straight, straight back leg. And that line comes all the way out through the crown, heel to crown. Navel pulls up and in, find the lower ribs, drawing towards one another. Keep breathing, steady, lovely. And then parallel your torso to the mat, bringing your hands down, step it back to plank pose. Inhale, exhale, take the hips up and back. Down, facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the tiptoes. Wave the foot to plank. This time, take your knees down. Then bend your elbows in your side, chest down, chin down. Slide it on through, shoulders on your back. Cobra pose. Exhale, release, lengthen down to the mat. Well done. Push into your hands, hands into shoulders, come on back up, tabletop pose, and then all the way back to downward facing dog. Ah, right, inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky, stretch that leg straight, push through the heel, and exhale, draw that knee, that navel into the spine as you bring the right foot forward between your hands. Spin the back foot down, and this time, we'll cartwheel up into warrior two. 
So leaving with the left thumb, exhale, sinking and settling into this pose. Gaze here with the middle finger, deep bend in that front knee, and pressing the knee out to the side. One more breath, gaze, and breath is steady, lovely. Now straighten that front leg, reach the right palm up towards the sky, and then back. This is your reverse triangle, left hand slides down the back leg, and then reach the right arm all the way forward in the opposite direction, coming into triangle pose. Back down, comes up, shoulder stack. And we're going to keep this dynamic. Strong legs as you inhale. Take it back, reverse triangle. Strong legs as you exhale and reach forward, turning into Trikonasana. Triangle gaze to the thumb. Here we go, last time. Taking it all the way back. Strong foundation in both feet, all four corners. Feet pushing down, come into Trikonasana. And we'll take one breath here. Awareness into the hips. External rotation to the right hip. Internal at the left. One more breath. Gaze down at your foot here. And then come all the way back up. Come into your warrior two. Bending into that front knee. Well done. Spin the back heel up, reach up to the sky, high lunge, pull the lower body in, inhale, and exhale. Take the arms down to frame the front foot, step it back to plank pose. Inhale, exhale, take your knees, chest, chin down, inhale, slide it for the cobra, and exhale. Take the hips up and back, down the facing dog. And we'll do that on the other side. So this time, inhaling the left leg, reaches up to the sky, stretch through the heel, straighten the leg, and exhale, navel to spine, bring that knee up. Drop the foot down, spin the back foot. Here we go, leading with the right hand, carve the arm, open, warrior two, gazing forward, sinking down into your hips, neutral pelvis, strong breath, working on stamina here, again, straight back leg, here we go, inhale, straighten the front leg, let's flip that palm, reach it up and back, reverse triangle, Keeping the legs exactly where they are. Reach forward, right arm comes up. Triangle pose. Take it back. Keep it smooth, synchronized with the breath. As you exhale, reach forward, back to triangle. Shoulders stay on the back. Navel hugs up and in. There we go, take it back. This is the last time, I think. Yeah, and then bend into that front knee. Warrior two, gaze, inhale. Exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Let's release the back heel up as we take our hips to face forward. Reach a high lunge, spike the heel, back heel towards the right of the roof. Reach up from your lower body. One more breath, and exhale, take the hands down, step it back, plank pose, go through your foot, inhale, exhale, lower it down, inhale, cobra pose, pressing in the tops of the feet, active legs, and exhale, lengthening down to the ground, beautiful, push up, all the way, plank pose, down facing dog or coming up through table. Inhale to look forward and exhale to step or hop to the front of the mat. Forward, hang your head down. Now, 
Take your feet hip width distance apart. Peace fingers. Wrap them around those big toes. Your feet are parallel with each other. Inhale, look forward, open your chest. And exhale, bend those elbows left to right. Hug the navel with the spine as you drop the crown towards the ground. Shake your head out here, making sure there's no tension. Bend your knees a little better. Got real tight hamstrings or lower back. And see if you can let go in this pose. A couple more breaths here. Stretch in the backs of the legs. And then chin to chest, navel to spine. Bring your hands to your hips. Here we go, roll it up. Coming all the way back up to standing. Release your fingertips down to the floor. Find your alignment. Navel curl in. Elbow reaching down. Reaching up to the crown of your head. Lifting. Tend to face the long side of your mat. Step your feet out as wide as your wrists would be. And you stretch your arms out to the side. And let's take a fold here. Bring your hands down to your hips. Inhale, lift your chest. Maybe take a little back bend, strong legs as you exhale, hinging forward, leading with your chest. Head drops down last. Release your hands towards the ground, to the ground even. Actually walk them out underneath your shoulders as you inhale, open your chest. Look forward again and exhale. Let's find a twist. So bring your left hand underneath your nose and reach your right arm up towards the sky. Strong legs. And exhale, bring the right arm down, switch it out. As you inhale, open the left arm up to the sky. Feels so good, let's do it again. Coming down. Right arm, reaching up with those strong legs. Exhale, coming down. And inhale, opening up to the left. Exhale, come all the way down. Walk your hands between your feet. Just hang that crown down. Shake your head no. And yes, let it go. Cascading down the spine. Lovely. Bring your hands to your hips, and here we go. Big move. Strong legs. Inhale all the way up. Flat back. Exhale. Jump your feet together. Step towards the front of the mat, and let's flow. Inhale to reach up. Gaze up to the thumbs this time. Exhale, hinging forward. Hold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, take it down, step it back, down facing dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, rippling forward to plank pose, spike the heels back, exhale, go through your flow, do chaturanga, lowering half step way down, or lower the full way down, do a cobra, up or up, facing dog, and exhale, down to facing dog. Pedal it out, keep it loosey goosey. And so all of that, great gaze up towards the front of the mat, bend your knees deeply, dig your hips back, and then a little hop, if you like, towards the front of the back, mat, or fold. Inhale, come up halfway, find that flat back. Reach four, biceps by ears. And then exhale, bend your knees, keep reaching forward as you look forward now. And slowly come down onto your buttocks and take your shins parallel up the mat. You can hold on to the backs of your thighs to start with. Lifting out of your lower back. Keeping the shoulder blades on the back. 
Stay here or take the legs up long and straight into a V position. Stay here or release the hands, palms up. And again, use that control of the breath to calm the mind so that we can strengthen our body without it panicking and telling us we can't do it. Keep breathing, so good for all parts of the core. Oh, body strengthener. Let's do it for three, two, one. Release the feet down, walk the hands back, fingers towards you. Let's take the feet hip width distance apart and inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. And drop the head back into your shoulder basket. Keep your chin in towards your chest. Squeeze the thighs together. Keep lifting the hips. Round into all four corners of the feet. You can take it side to side. Forward and back. Stretching out the front of the body. One more breath. Lift the hips. And exhale slowly lower. The hips down. The glutes down to the floor. Lovely. Come into a cross-legged position and we'll just take a simple forward fold, taking your arms forward in front of you. Chest open. Inhale. Keeping the sitting bones grounded. Exhale. Maybe let go of the head. Really amazing job on the core today, everybody. I can definitely feel mine. Walk your hands back up to center. And let's make sure we're not walking in circles as at the end of the night by switching the cross of our legs. Whichever one was behind the first time is now in front. And just walk your hands down, keeping your chest open until you can't go any further with your sitting bones still grounded. And then you can just release the weight down. Breathe into the belly. Three hundred and sixty degree expansion with the breath. Breathe. Walk the hands back in. And you'll be happy to know that we are completely finished with strengthening our core today. We're just going to pull down, stretch it out. So coming all the way down onto your back now. And when you get there, hug your right knee in towards the chest. You can keep the left foot grounded or stretch it out long on the mat. It's your choice. When you're ready, take your hands somewhere on the back of that right leg as you extend the foot up towards the sky. So, you can go behind the calf. You can always bring that piece, those peace fingers to the big toe. We're keeping the right hip grounded here. One more breath. And then let go as you bend the right knee. Use your left hand to guide it over and across your body as you reach your right arm out gazing towards the right arm. Nice supine twist. Relaxing the face. Here we go. Come on back. Hug that right knee. Bend, bend towards your chest one more time. So reach through the left leg. And then release the right leg down. Hug the left knee in. Remember, you can always keep the right knee bent, sort of the foot on the floor. Squeezy, squeezy. And then extend that left 
leg up. Find a place for your hands on the back of the left leg. Keep the left hip anchored down. Shoulders relaxed. But super flexed, toes towards face. One more breath. And then bend that left knee, right hand guides it over the top of your body as you reach your left arm out to the side, maybe gazing over the left hand. Really starting to extend the exhale, so releasing more and more. Come on back up to center. Squeeze the knee into the chest. Reach long through the right leg. And then release the left leg down. Side to the right. Let your toes fall out to the side. Take your arms out nice. Away, give yourself distance and space as you flip your palms to the side, walking your shoulders underneath your heart space. Maybe slight tuck of the chin to lengthen the neck. Let's take a big inhale in together through our nose and let it out through the mouth. Close your eyes. Feel yourself sinking into your mass, into the earth beneath you, as you let go. Let go of any control of your body. your time. You've earned it. Transitioned from doing to being. It's tricky to quiet your mind. Sometimes Shavasana can be the hardest one of all, hardest place of all, especially for really active people. I'm going to leave you with a few words from Meister Eckhart, German philosopher, theologian, that you can meditate on and explore whilst you lay here. All of eternity, all of time, is contained in this very moment. All of eternity, all of time, is contained in this very moment. So enjoy this moment. Stay here. For as long as you can get away with. <laughs> and I look forward to spending some time with you in your house next Wednesday for a power of love. My name is Lindsay Fox. The light in me deeply honors the light in you. Namaste.